Welcome to speaking interview 3 from book 18 from Cambridge IELTS. The channel owner gives courtesy thanks to Cambridge University, England. This podcast is skipping introductory conversation between examiner and student which can alternatively be listened from the earlier podcast link given in description box or from end screen video. Here is part 1 of interview. The examiner asks you about online shopping. How often do you buy things online and why? Actually, there is no set frequency. It is as per requirement. I value hard earned earning of parents and I am not impulsive spender who can be easily tricked by online offers. What was the last thing you bought online? Last time I bought a pair of shoes. While watching video, I came across an ad which had decent discount on purchase of shoes and fortunately, I was to go for purchasing same for my cousin's wedding party. Do you ever see things in shops and then buy them online? Why? Why not? It happens off and on when I think that local shopkeeper is charging unnecessarily, then I go for this. And if I find online price almost similar, I prefer to buy that item offline. Do you think the popularity of online shopping is changing your town or city center and why? Of sure, this craze is making things happen either way. At the positive side, it makes things available which cannot be found locally and that too on cheaper rate. On the darker side, it bypasses money straight to external seller and thus to some extent reduces cash flow in town and reduces business of local shops. Now in part 2 of interview, you will have to talk about the topic for 1-2 to two minutes. You have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. You are to describe a time when you enjoyed visiting a member of your family in their home. Here are short notes candidate has made. Now he starts speaking. India is country of festivals, traditions and ceremonies and here wedding of any loved one is not less than a grand celebration. The best family celebration which I can never forget is my cousin's wedding which was about two years back and we attended it in district Kethal which is in provenance of Haryana. The hallmark of wedding was typical Haryanvi wedding ceremonies which include many Haryanvi folk songs sung by both ladies and gents. We had planned to celebrate this occasion in traditional as well as modern style. Traditionally, there is a function of singing and dance at night before wedding where all family members dance. Then, for modern celebration, there was DJ arrangement and this celebration continued till midnight. On top of everything, it was also special because I was getting together with my relatives after a long time and it was occasion of happiness in my parental aunt's home after many years. Next day, highlight was wedding procession. We all went to nearby town where bride's family had arranged a welcome party for us. In actual sense, excitement was of dance and enjoyment during procession while groom sits on a horse and reaches girls home as per customs. This whole journey we did while dancing and teasing groom. When we reached near wedding venue, we had arranged to fire sky shots and then there was a dance on dhol which is called drum for about half an hour before entering into wedding tent. This craze to dance continued even after entering into marriage tent and again it was midnight when show stopped and then we took dinner and joined ceremony of holy circles. This way the memorable function ended and we after next day's rest returned home. This is the end of part 2. Now in part 3 of interview, I will ask you some question about family occasions. When do families celebrate together in your country? Mostly joint celebration is during any grand festive occasion like Diwali, Holi in my country. Otherwise, it is also when there is any fedding function, birthday, home warming ceremony, retirement. These are the crucial times when families unite and seek blessings of their elders. How often do all the generations in a family come together in your country? 
Frankly speaking, it is not happening frequently as it used to occur. I think in most cases it happens only once or twice a year when there are grand happenings as told before because families have got disintegrated and living away. Sometimes they are even in different city far away. Why is it that some people might not enjoy attending family occasions? Actually, priorities of people have changed. This can be primarily due to family separation. People start living separately when they think their elders interfere in their privacy. Additionally, if they become career-oriented or money-minded, then too this move can be taken. In either way, this separation yields to less family meetings and ultimately less indulgence in joint celebrations. Further, I would like to ask some question about everyday life in families. Do you think it is a good thing for parents to help their children with schoolwork? Well, the idea of assisting children in their homework by parents is only beneficial if children are small in age or if children are handling any tough projects such as completing any assignment. Otherwise, regular help to kids can make them dependent on their parents and in actual sense, parents should let their kids be self-dependent. How important do you think it is for families to eat together at least once a day? Without any doubt, this custom keeps family united. Actually, when whole family sits together, not only exchange of daily routine emotions experience takes place, there is counseling, scolding, sometimes parents also encourage their lads to put best foot forward. This way, transfer of knowledge, belief and experience takes place and any misunderstanding is also overcome. Hence, I think a family which sits together for a meal at least once in a day stays stable and united. Do you believe that everyone in a family should share household tasks? Without an iota of doubt, sharing should happen. After all, we know sharing is caring and responsibilities should not be given by parents rather taken by youngsters. I think this is an important moment in family when children have become enough sensible and parents can test them. And there cannot be anything better than this when children are sensing their duties themselves. Or otherwise, if this has not happened, parents should step in and make youngsters understand their responsibility. In these ways, not only coming generation can start understanding their responsibilities, but also start taking burden off the shoulder of their parents and develop care and affection for elder siblings also. That is end of part 3 and end of speaking interview. Thanks.